Hey guys, it's Jason here. Um, gonna give you an update on uh, mom's uh, <clears throat> surgery. So last night she didn't get a whole lot of sleep. Neither did I, but you know, kind of comes with what's happening. Um, we ended up getting up, up at 3 a.m. this morning. We had to be at the uh, hospital at 4.30, which we obviously made it in a time, no traffic. And um, <clears throat> I'm hoping this video turns out because uh, I wrote down all the instructions and so far it's taken me a while to do this, but hopefully we'll make it happen. Anyway, so got it registered and uh, this, this time it was a much better experience for her. Um, I was there with her through the whole process. They let me go back with her this time, like right from the very beginning. Um, I stepped out of the room, obviously, a couple of times so she could get dressed into the the gown, hospital gown, and and so forth. So yeah, um, you know, her spirits. Uh, uh, she was in good spirits. I mean, considering what's going on, and um, I will say the hospital. Um, Took down my number and I got texts. So as soon as I left, I was getting texts of, you know, she was moved to the operating room. The procedure started and um, I got a call from one of the nurses that, that works with the surgeon that was doing the surgery. Um, probably about two hours into the, uh, the surgery. And um, she said, hey, uh, everything's going as planned, everything's going well right now, so that was pretty cool. Um, and literally about 15 minutes ago, I got the call from the doctor um, who actually did the surgery, as my mom says, Dr. R. <laughs> so uh, he called me and said everything uh, went as planned. Um, obviously right now they're making sure that she can, well, that she can breathe on her own and and all that good stuff. So uh, they basically told me this morning, you know, like there, there's no need to stay here. We'll call you. You're not going to be able to see her today, anyways. So as soon as as soon as they took her back, I I went home. You know. So again, the doctor said everything went well as uh, as planned. So there she'll be in the ICU for at least at least a day. Um, when the doctor called me, she's in recovery, so she hasn't made it to the ICU yet. And um, beyond that, um, my videos aren't gonna be as long as mom's videos. I'm, I'm gonna try and do my best to do videos to keep the channel going. Um, and I do wanna thank the people that have donated to the GoFundMe. Um, there's been some people, there's been some people that uh, have donated that I recognize from doing the lives and I did put it out on my Facebook So a lot of my friends from the sheriff's department have donated You know just because you know, I was there 24 years. So Got a lot of good friends there. Um, I don't know what else So my videos probably aren't gonna be as good as mom's and you know, that's okay um, I'm not her and you guys aren't you guys aren't tuning in to see me, but I'm sure everybody wants updates and I appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the prayers and the thoughts and um, what else? I might try and do a live this Thursday or two, excuse me, Tuesday. Don't, don't hold me to it. Um, I'll have to play around with uh, the, the camera and the, uh, <laughs> and um figuring out how to do a live. I'm sure I can figure it out. I'm just like mom, I'm not tech savvy, never have been and probably never will be, but I'll do my best. Um, otherwise, as long as I did this video correctly, I know how to do it and it gets loaded up and we get some views and I'll know I did it correctly. Um, as long as that happens, I will make videos, uh, keep you guys updated and hopefully, depending on it, maybe in a week or so, she'll be able to do some videos uh, from the hospital or the uh, skill, what do they call it? Skilled nursing facility. Um, something along those lines. I may not be uh, totally correct on the term, so don't blow me up on uh, in the comments saying I uh, got it wrong. <laughs> so, uh, what else? Uh, Marley's doing good. Marley's with my, my, my children uh, at their mom's house. 
they've been gracious enough to, uh, um, my ex has been gracious enough to let my mom park her van there since I live in an apartment complex. And, uh, you know, I think it's safer in her driveway and then they're watching Marley. So, uh, Marley's at a good place. Uh, I don't think it would have been good for her to stay here with me because I work. I mean, if that was all we had, then we would do what we do. But I think this is better for Marley. So, you know, then um, the kids are there. So she's going to have get plenty of attention and plenty of uh, loving. So other than that, uh, I don't know if they're going to call me again today. Probably not because I've talked to the nurse and the doctor. So um, I'm working tomorrow. I have the uh, phone number for the uh, ICU. So I will probably give them a call maybe later tonight or maybe tomorrow after work because I know mom's gonna be out of it. So me driving driving up there just to sit next to her and she's, she, she's still out um, really doesn't do anybody any good. Um, and they are, like I said, they are they are keeping me up to date, so that's great. I mean, if they weren't keeping me up to date, then I probably would drive up there. But, you know, giving me a phone call, let me know what's going on is perfect. Um, again, uh, I want to thank everybody that's uh, donated to GoFundMe. And um, Mom appreciates that. I appreciate that. Um, uh, I say a lot of ums, right? That's when you're thinking about what to say, so... Just trying to just trying to not make this a really really short video, but you know uh, it's a trying time right now, and uh, we'll all get through it one way or another, you know. So beyond that, uh, I don't know if we'll be able to respond to comments. I mean, I have mom's phone. That's what I'm doing this video on. So no need for her to have a phone in the hospital when she's out. So I will bring her a phone. We kind of planned on Sunday, me coming out either Sunday or Monday, and that kind of all depends on how coherent, how, you know, like is she, is she coherent? Is she awake? Is she, you know? So, so either Sunday or Monday, I plan on bringing her a phone, and, um, and I'm sure, you know, I could probably help her do a video. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. No promises. <laughs> Maybe maybe I'll take a picture of her and then do a video. I don't know. Whatever she wants. You know, whatever she's comfortable with, you know. Um, oh, and I did braid her hair last night. My, uh, my daughter, my, my oldest daughter came over and, and mom's like, you got to, to me earlier, she's like, you got to braid my hair because they need my hair up and so it doesn't get in the way of the surgery. I'm like, I don't know how to braid hair. I don't even have any hair. So uh, anyways... So my oldest daughter comes over, braids her hair, and then she leaves and she goes, no, I need, she goes, Jason, I need a ponytail and then the braid. I go, well, why didn't you tell, tell Angela when she was here? She goes, well, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to hurt her feelings or anything like that. I go, well, okay. So and my daughter showed me how to do it, so I did it anyways. It was kind of funny. You know, we get there and, the, and she... She uh, put it in a ponytail and I braided it and she put it in a bun, but it was kind of lopsided. So <laughs> we get there and the, nurse, the the first nurse that like we meet, she goes, oh, I like your bun. It's kind of to the side. And I'm like, well, that's because of me because that was my first time doing it. So it's, it's kind of to the side. Anyways, it worked out. <laughs> I thought that was just kind of funny. Like, uh, you know, hey. Uh, so that was my first time braiding anybody's hair. Even though I have two daughters, I've never braided anybody's hair, so uh, <laughs> never, never learned. I guess I should have, but you know. Anyways, so that's just a little laughter to, you know, even though these times are not laughing times. But anyways, so I don't have a whole lot more to say. Um, I'm gonna let you guys go and figure out how to load this up and see if I can get it loaded up and and put it out. So I hope everybody's doing well. Take care of yourself. Be safe. And until uh, the next video, bye-bye.